This is Crime Lord Reese, a kingpin in the criminal underground within the city of Los Santos. There's three things that motivate this hustler. Money, the ladies at the Vanilla Unicorn. Okay, so two things really. Whether it be the production sales of narcotics, stealing selling exported goods, or shootouts in the hood, there's a little something for everyone in Los Santos. So come join Crime Lord Reese as he locks and loads, heads to the meat spot, and guns down everyone to steal all the product. This is Grand Theft Auto Online, The Peanut Butter Files. What's going on, Peanut Butter Gang? Welcome back to another edition of The Peanut Butter Files. Let's jump on in. Crime Lord Reese wakes up from bed and is ready to start a new day. To start things off, Crime Lord Reese heads to his organization's HQ. With the warehouse almost full, he purchases three crates of tobacco and alcohol for a full 16 crates. However, he has to pick up the supplies. Turns out the plane that was carrying them went down and is under police supervision. With the police neutralized, Reese moves in and grabs the first shipment. With the safety of his armored car, he makes it back and one is delivered. The process is repeated for the second package. While en route for the third one, Reese gets notified that there is five minutes left. I really wish I could just share the base footage with you guys, because I had rock radio playing during the drive out there against the clock, and Kenny Loggins was playing, and it was just magical, but copyright. Anywho, Reese grabs it with 3.20 left on the clock and makes the 3.05 miles with 39 seconds remaining to complete the shipment delivery and have a full warehouse. For today's main mission, Crime Lord Reese heads back to the agency. Today, he will be tackling the High Society League for Dr. Dre. So, the last active trace we have on this copy of Dre's phone is at that preppy country club up in the bluffs. This trail's pretty hot, so get over there quick and we might find the way too rich asshole who got it. Franklin's gonna call you on the way there. Heading to the Pacific Bluffs Country Club, Reese gets the rundown. Wanna run a sword, so we're gonna need the club security footage. Job one is find the club surveillance room. Job two is break in. <laughs> then you're gonna use the USB I gave you to get into the archive and send the footage back to me. I'll scan it for a lead. Then hopefully we can pick up the trail of this data. All right, for sure. F we own. Arriving, the objective is to hack the keypad and get access to the surveillance room without being detected. Climbing some rooftops is a quick drop down into the sweet spot where the keypad is hacked and access is gained. There are four security guards inside, but they are no match for the crime lord. After they are done, Reese accesses the computer and completes the hack. Okay, got the footage. I got it leaving the club in a limo. Let me just check who it's registered to. Damn. What now? Shell Company. Complete dead end. Except... if... Haha, <laughs> sweet. The plate got flagged speeding on the traffic camera network. Last known location with you now. Damn. Good sh With that info, Reese heads back to his vehicle and begins the search for the limo. Reese searches all day and into the night. Just as he is about to give up hope, he finds the limo. Alright, follow that limo. And don't let them see you. Looks like someone got out since the car got flagged. They would have taken the data. We just need to see where it goes. If it comes to it, take his out. Grab their ID and bring it back to the office. He tails the Hummer limo for what seems like an eternity. However, they finally make it to their destination, and Franklin calls them off, completing the mission. Hey, look, you sent us the photo yet? We already got it, Franklin. Check your spam. Okay, the first thing I see is that keypad. We're gonna need an access code for that. Yeah, for sure. Look, we're gonna do some research on who this guy is, all right? Then we're gonna see how we can get in this I say we back off for now. Hey, look, good work, y'all. Once again, there is time to kill, so Crime Lord Reese spends some quality time with a nice red-headed lady on the beach. Also while waiting, I didn't record this because I didn't think it would happen, Crime Lord Reese won the mystery prize at the spin wheel at the Diamond Casino. Turns out it was a brand new current Futo, a sports car. However, the Crime Lord wants to make some adjustments to his new whip. What miracle did you want me to perform? Much better. With that settled, Reese heads to the agency and resumes the next part of the leak. Hey, what you got for us on that match? So it belongs to Ben Brooks, crypto investor. Billionaire, of course. What the hell he want with Dre music? 
Yeah, it's weird, right? So, I did a little digging, and it looks like he wants to use it as an NFT. And you think he gonna sell this thing or what? Yeah, he's setting up some hyper-exclusive gathering at his place to do a world premiere and put it up for auction. Oh, f Okay, well look, let's get our associate on that guest list. Did you hear that? An NFT? No f thanks. These people need to be stopped. So it turns out we're going after this guy's lawyer. Given the number of lawyer jokes in the world, it's an interesting choice, but hey. Reese parks his car at the neighbors across the street's driveway. She seems like she could watch it. Due to poor aim, the stealth approach doesn't work, so Reese pulls out his M16 and just starts going to work, eventually neutralizing the lawyer with a stun gun. Reese then takes him, tossing him in the trunk of his own car, and drives away with it all the way back to the agency. With another mission complete, it was time for Reese to make some money. Heading back to his warehouse, Crime Lord Reese decides it's time to clear out the warehouse and sell the stock. On his way to the dock, the assistant of Sir Reese Incorporated texts the Crime Lord that their location was leaked, so there are people there. Crime Lord Reese has to clear them out before getting on the boat. With the area secure, he dives in, navigates the boat out to sea, and completes the cell. Returning to the agency, Crime Lord Reese is ready to complete the mission. Reese is not allowed to wear his own clothes, however, so he goes with the moneymaker outfit. Eventually, the clear is given to unleash hell. The crime lord starts with a car bomb. Eventually, Reese causes enough mayhem to cause the billionaire to flee. Reese has to commandeer a sports car, but that's the easy part. The most annoying part about this was the private military jeeps. They just wouldn't stop and the helicopter doesn't move quick unless you're within range. But because you're fighting the private military guys, it gets away. Whoever made this part at Rockstar, you suck. Naturally, the billionaire escapes into his yacht, but look what happens to the helicopter pilot.
That's for getting away, sir. Don't do it next time. Moving on to the yacht, the crime lord guns his way through the boat, eventually cornering the billionaire. Maybe just a little salty about him getting away. Gunning down the attack chopper first, Crime Lord Reese hops on a boat and heads back to the sports car. With another attack chopper and jeeps trying to kill him, Reese heads to the nearby military fort, hoping they will take care of these enemies. However, Reese then realizes there isn't anyone at the fort and makes his move. In the jet, there was no chance they were catching Reese. Okay, update just came through to the military. The billionaire has been confirmed as KIA. Shit, watch how fast they bounce when they find out all the money's out of the picture. Hey, Trey wants to say something. I hear you, dog. Alright, listen, Franklin here tells me we've got two copies down. Good work, but we still have one more to go. Alright, Franklin, here's your phone. Hey, good looking, dog. Hey, look, bring this back to the base, and let's get the rest of this shit done, all right? Cool. See you soon. Money for this job's clearing now. Should be in your account when you get back. A few rooftop jumps and turning the corner later, the mission was complete. Full disclosure here, I plan on ending this episode with selling the golden minigun special cargo I had, but the footage for some reason came out like this. Yeah, there's gonna be a warning here, so just be careful. Let's make some money. The goods are in the truck. The truck goes to the point on your GPS. Yeah, sorry gang. So instead, here's Crime Lord Reese riding a roller coaster. Thank you all so much for watching, please like the video and subscribe, it really helps out the channel a lot, share the video with your friends. Only one leak of Dr. Dre's music left. How will Crime Lord Reese wrap this one up? Guess you'll have to tune in and find out next time on The Peanut Butter Files.